and I'm one of the specialist exercise instructors at Link for Life. And in this little video, we've just got five strength exercises to be done in a standing position. So what you will need for these exercises is a chair, and um, for one of the exercises which you stick to stand or also to use for your balance, and some form of, of weight. I've just got some weights here that I use, but you could use a tin of baked beans, you could use a water bottle, anything that just adds a little bit of resistance. And that's entirely up to you. Work at a level that works for you. You can even start off with the exercises not using anything and just getting that movement going. So we're just going to do five exercises. We're going to do 10 of each. And what I would say is if you can do the 10 and you feel comfortable with those, you could repeat this video and do another set of 10 of each exercise. And if you could build that up to three lots of 10, even if you did it at three different points throughout the day, then that would be a really good level of working out for you. Okay, so we're going to start nice and simply with a heel raise. So we're going to use our chair for balance. We want our hips, knees and ankles nicely in line. Chairs balls, and we're going to stand nice and tall. And we're going to lift up the heels and back down. All as high as works for you. It might be a tiny little lift. You want a very slight bend in the knee, so we don't want to lock the knee. So we're going to go for 10, nice and smoothly under control. So, one, and down. Two, and down. And you want to lift nice and tall. That's three. Imagine someone's got a string pulling up to the top of your head. That's four. I want to think about the calves. Five. So we're lifting up rather than leaning forward. Six. Seven. So lifting tall, using the chair for balance. Eight. Or again, you could use a wall with your hands against a wall. Nine. We've just got one more. 10. Yep, so if that feels all right for you, do feel free to do those again. Yeah, I'm going to go to a bicep curl. So you're just going to get hold of whatever it is you're using for a weight. So we're going to stand again, feet hip distance apart, little bending to your knees, little bit of engagement through your core, and just tuck the hips under slightly so we're nice and strong. Arms are going to come down, palms facing forward, elbows tucked in. We're going to curl up towards our shoulders and all the way down. So up towards our shoulders and all the way down. So nice and steady, we'll do 10. So 10, and you want to really squeeze the bicep, to squeeze the front of the arm. And you want to think about just keeping the elbow tucked in at the side of the body as much as we can. So that's three. I'll turn it on the side so you can see it as well. We're curling up. That's four. I want to keep the wrist nice and flat. And five. So I'll do a couple without the weight so you can see how the hands are. That's six. So if you're holding your weight, your wrist wants to be nice and flat. And seven. You don't want to be swaying backwards. Again, that little bend in the knees. Eight. And nine. And then we've just got one more. And ten. You can just pop the weights down if you've got them. So you should feel that just down that muscle there. Yeah? And again, if that feels like you can do some more, you can do another set. We're going to go to a, a raise or a tap back. So we're going to turn towards your chair. Again, feet hip distance apart, ankles, knees, hips in line. Let's start nice and tall. All we're going to do is tap back and in. Tap back and in. So we're staying nice and tall. We're not leaning forward. Now if this feels like it's a little bit too easy and you wish to, you can lift and lower. Now we don't want to lift too high. We don't want to swing forward. We really want to focus on the muscles in the buttocks, so those glute muscles, to lift and lower. So we've done four. Five, transfer your weight. Six, making sure we stay tall. A little bit of engagement through the abdominal muscles. Just got one more on each leg. And 
and our last one. And bring it in. So remember with that one, you can stay just with that tap back and that is absolutely fine. Work up to the leg lift only if it feels okay for you. The next one, we're going to go back to the arms. We're going to do a front raise. So again, you get whatever you have as a weight. So we're going to keep ankles, knees, hips nicely in line. Little bend into the knees. Engagement through the abs. Arms going to come down at the front, palms facing forward. Again, I'll do a couple with the weight and a couple without. We're going to lift just to shoulder height and lower. Lift just to shoulder height and lower. And again, we want to keep a little bend in the elbow. We want to keep it nice and strong. Our palm is facing down towards the floor. And again, the wrist is nice and level. I'll do a couple without the weight so you can see. We've done four. That's five. We want to keep the shoulders down. You've just got hold of whatever weight it is. Seven. Nice relaxed neck. Eight. Nine. We're not coming any higher than that. Ten. And back down. So again, see how that feels for you. You can add a little bit more weight if it gets easier. Or we can even do both arms together. Again, that's up to you. And our last exercise, I'm going to be stick to stand. I'm just going to move my weights out of the way. I'm going to bring our chair in. So we're going to sit on our chair on the front third. Feet again, hip distance apart. We're going to just bring the heels back ever so slightly. You can use your hands onto your thighs. You can use your hands onto the chair if you need to. We're going to power up strongly through the legs. We're going to hinge at the hips, bring the nose forward, over the knees and toes, power up through the legs nice and tall, and then hinge at the hips, push the weight back into the legs and lower it down under control. So we do 10 of those. So bring it forward, nose over the knees, power up, nice and tall, hinge at the hips, bring it back down under control. So make sure we get the hinge, we push strongly into the heels, Nice and tall, hinge, lower under control. That's three. So we've got four. If you need to feel for the chair as you come back down, that's absolutely fine. Make sure you know where it is. Make sure you're on that front third. That's six. And back down. Make sure the knees stay in line with the ankles. Don't let the legs come in together. Yeah, really push strongly through the legs down. We've got three more. I might not have been able to count the whole way through this. But you'll have done your ten. There we go, nice and tall. And back down. And the final one, nice and tall. And back down. So those are your exercises for strength. So again, we've done 10 of each of those. If you feel like that was okay for you, do feel free to do another set of 10 of each and build it up to three times, so three sets of 10. And again, you could do those in little gaps throughout the day, building it up all the time. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.